Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a fetus with polyhydramnias and encephalocele. In an encephalocele is a, is a rare disorder in which bones of the skull do not close completely. This creates gap through which cerebro, cerebral spinal fluid, brain tissues and meninges can protrude into a sac-like formation. You can see the fetus, fetus having cardiac activity and this cardiac activity looks ecomaco normal. You can see the lower limbs of the fetus. Placenta is posteriorly attached and the amniotic fluid is, is increased in volume and it is slightly thick and turbid having multiple internal echoes. An encephalocele forms when neural tube do not close properly during gestation. A neural tube is a narrow channel that folds and close to form the brain and spinal cord. The exact cause, however, is unknown. It is usually occurs among families with the history of spina bifida and anencephaly. Now you can see a large encephalocele attached to the hind portion of the fetal head. Occipit encephalocele. Ultrasound images of the fetus can reveal the presence of herniated fluid-filled sac outside the skull. Now you can see this encephalocele measures about 8.7 cm into 5.2 cm in this view. Now the spines of the fetus are visible. This is the fetal head, these are the spines and encephalocele is also visible. This is the encephalocele in the hind portion, in the occiput portion of the fetal head. Sometimes encephalocele are detected during a routine perinatal ultrasound at as early as 13 weeks of gestation. If an encephalocele is suspected on an ultrasound, a fetal MRI provides all the details necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Now in this view you can see the measurement of this encephalocele is 7.7 into 7.7 centimeter diameter. Now you can see the fetal cardiac activity and the upper limbs of the fetus. The placenta looks like to be posteriorly attached. Now the largest gutter uh, measures more than the normal measurement. So it measures about 13.23 centimeter, which is more than the normal. So polyhydramnias is also visible. You can see the fetal head and the upper limb, the eyes of the fetus. This is the hand, hand of the fetus. Now you can see the nose and lips of the fetus with the eyes and face are 
फेस पोर्शन symptoms of the encephalocele are neurological problems hydrocephalus cerebrospinal fluid accumulation in the brain spastic quadriplegia paralysis of limbs microcephaly an abnormally small head ataxia uncoordinated muscle movements development delay vision problems mental and growth retardation now you can see the blood flow in the umbilical cord and in the fetus again you can see the lower limbs and the spine a portion of spine in encephalocele are usually dramatic deformities diagnosis immediately after birth but occasionally a small encephalocele in the nasal and forehead region can go undetected there is a general uh, gen genetic component to the condition it often occurs in families with a history of spina bifida and anencephaly in other family members babies with frontal encephalocele no associated symptom or defects and no brain tissue herniating into the sac have a good chance of survival babies with encephalocele at the back of the head have a 55% survival rate the remaining brain tissue are often exposed affected babies can usually are usually blind deaf unconscious and unable to feel pain almost all babies with an encephalocele anencephaly die before birth although some may survive a few hours or a few days after birth you can again see the encephalocele attached to the occiput portion of the fetal head thanks for watching you can find an important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button Thanks